Now, the one thing to keep in mind is that if you do not have PoE, then you can definitely use like a power injector or even use the power block, which is like a power adapter. Number of lines. Each phone will have a certain number of available line appearances that you can use for speed dials or use for your actual extension. So depending on, the, on your particular requirements from your business or within your company, that maybe you need a certain number of extensions or a certain number of speed dials, you want to make sure that you get the right, the right IP phone that has the right number of lines to facilitate your requirements. Bandwidth. A lot of these IP phones will give you 10, 100 bandwidth in terms of the switch ports that are behind them. But there are certain phones that can give you gigabit ports depending on your need for doing a lot of high bandwidth type usage. A lot of the IP phones will have different types of screens. The majority, as you will see here, have a color screen, and some may have a grayscale screen, which is like that green looking color. And some of these screens will be able to do touch screen, where you can actually touch some of the options on your phone compared to the actual um, buttons that are placed on the phone itself. The PC and the SW ports is that most of the phones have a PC port and a, and a switch port. Now what's recommended is you have your PC or, or your computer and it's plugged directly into your IP phone. In return, your IP phone is plugged in directly to your network. So your IP phone has like it has a embedded um, small kind of a switch. Some of the phones also have video support, such as the 7970s or the 7960 for support for the VT Advantage that we talked about in the previous slide. Protocol support. By default, the IP phone's firmware uses the Skinny or the SCCP protocol firmware. And that is the default that allows it to communicate with the call manager for call registration, for call setup, teardown, and other capabilities. The other protocol support includes firmware for SIP, MGCP, and H323. And some of the phones, of course, will have the speaker phone capabilities, and some will not, such as the 7906 series, which gives you more of the monitor feature, where you get to hear a call out loud, but you cannot communicate back where they can hear you. So here's an example of a 7960 IP phone. And we're going to talk about some of the buttons and options here on this phone for reference. So here we have our handsets. And on our handsets where we can obviously place calls. Here is the indicator. And whenever there's a new call coming in, like a new call coming in or you got a new voicemail, this will actually turn red. Here is our number pad. And our number pad is where we can place phone calls and input PIN numbers or passwords depending what's present on our LCD screen here. Here we have our navigation wheel, and this is for navigating through various options or entries that will be seen on the LCD screen. For these five buttons, these five buttons all have a unique purpose. The one in the middle is the help button, which we talked about in a previous slide, that if you're not sure on a particular button on your phone, you can simply press the help button to any button on your phone, and it will give you information about how that button is used directly on the LCD screen. The message button is a speed dial for accessing the voicemail system. So if you have a new voicemail and you want to check it, or you want to access other voicemail features, you would simply just press this button here. The directory button accesses the local services, which gives you ability to look at your missed calls, your placed calls, and even calls that you have received. You can also access the local directory that has been configured directly on the phone system. Services is the button that you can access a wide variety of services such as, well, extension mobility. Depending on what other services are configured on the voice system, you will simply go to services and the list of services will be presented on the LCD where you can select using the navigation and then select the appropriate one for following information for logging in. Then you have the settings button. And the settings button uh, allows you to do things such as changing your ringtone, changing your background image, if it's the appropriate, if it's the best, if it's the right phone, and other kind of features about the firmware and if you're connecting to the call manager, and other kind of statistics for troubleshooting and for administration purposes. 
Below here we have our volume control where we can change the volume of our phone conversation in progress or the ringing of our IP phone. These three buttons, the first one enables the headset. You may have like a Plantronics headset connected to your phone and you can press this button to activate that to use your, to use your handset instead. If you need to mute a call, you can simply press this button here in the middle. And the last button enables the speakerphone capability. These buttons here um, enables the are the solve key buttons, and they're all pointing to a particular option that will be presented on the LCD screen. These could be options such as redial, new call, do not disturb, call forward all, and etc. So if you need to do a speed dial, and it's probably the second button, you can simply just press this button and it will do that appropriate action. These buttons here are your line appearances and the number of these lines which we talked about from the capability side will depend on the appropriate phone model. For this 7960 there are six line appearances where the first one will typically be used for the DID or the extension and the rest can be used for user speed dials. But you may have other specific DID numbers or extensions that you can use for these lines. So these can be used for either your phone number or it can be used for speed dials depending on what templates are configured on your system. So this is an example of some of the buttons and options on your phone and how to really navigate through some of these options. If you're not sure about what certain buttons are doing or certain options you can simply use the help key and pressing another button on your phone for more information. So this concludes this video as we talk about some of the features of voice features, capabilities, and some of the buttons and options on your phone. To find out more information on how to configure a Cisco Call Manager server or a Call Manager Express for Call Manager 6, Call Manager 7, find out more information at routehub.com training. Thank you for watching.